Welcome back to a brand new video here on Swalt Academy. My name is Gib Moses and in today's video let's take a look at Litecoin against the USD in the medium term. So as we know from my previous video when I posted this up at the peak the amount of hate that I got for calling this pullback was ridiculous. Now looking at the price action for all the people hating you can go ahead and stick this picture on your wall. So the pullback that I spoke about was as far as a hundred and fifty freaking dollars. All right which takes us approximately to this zone right here. So is this 150 still active? So as we know from our previous video a Litecoin has been copying this same exact fractal. This, that's exactly what I've been repeating these past videos. For all the people that disagree with me, I hope this pullback woke you up. Alright, so when comparing this to our fractal method, pretty simple. We have our 786 right over here, 786 right up here. Cool. Followed by a pullback all the way down to the 286, which takes us approximately towards 154. So what would invalidate this 154 is if price action reclaims above 295. It's simple as that. In the short term, however, we might get an A, B correction around 240, 250. And then a further pullback towards 154. All right, just like what happened during this fractal right over here, ABC. And as we know from our fractal method, we go for a nice massive pump to the upside. Cool. So nevertheless, long term, Litecoin is crazy bullish. Short term, on the other hand, if you're using crazy amounts of leverage, thinking that that's it, that this is the bottom, I'd be a bit careful out there, alright? If you're a gold member, you're gonna know exactly what's going on during the subwaves, just like the most recent update on the trading lounge. A break below 200 would send us down for a dump. And that's exactly what we got. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the crypto lounge. Man, I just love you guys. You guys have the best memes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god, it's beginning to look a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why you guys' memes kill me. All right, let's see what Shashon shared with us. Yeah, this is possible. This is a possible count, only if we break that 290 zone. And Nick, I hope this video helped you out. Yeah, this is going to be quite interesting, alright? Cases up here in Canada are rising too, with this Omicron, whatever variant is called. Alright, if it's that serious, you never know, we might go for another wave down. If it does, by all means, hallelujah. That's basically like us winning the lotto. Alright, so without further ado, I hope this video helped you guys out. Gave you some kind of insight of what's happening in the market. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.